tested. And this is a single level um, car. So our sleeper has the combinations um, typical um, of one of the styles of this car. It has a toilet and a sink in the in the car. I'll show you that. It has it has storage up above. And the equivalent to the at the same level as the berth when it's up. It has the two seats and pretty much else all else is pretty similar to the last cars we've been on. So just giving you a different view of travel in a brunette. So a little bit more about the cabin. Um, it doesn't have a closet, but it does have a hook where we can hang our coats. But the other thing is that the upper bunk has got a little indentation here um, to make room up above. So it's not quite as wide on one end as it is on the other. And the same thing about uh, the seat on this side. It's a little narrower, it's hard to see, than the one on the other side. So anyway, just a couple points. But also the plug on this one is over here. Yes, is on over here on the side with the steps and the sink and the toilet, which makes it a little bit busy, but we can make it work. Anyway, so we'll settle in for our trip down to Jacksonville. As we leave DC and cross the Potomac River headed into Virginia, there is one gorgeous sunset. up this morning in Jessup, Georgia. coming into the town of Folkston, Georgia. This isn't a stop on the train, but it has a railroad significance. This is um, called the Folkston Funnel, which is where a lot of trains coming north-south have to come into this area in order to uh, head off to their various directions south. So um, there's actually a viewing platform you can go up and stand on above the train tracks and watch all the trains go by. We're back in Jacksonville. We arrived early, how about that? And we are about to close out our video, but we spent a good trip and look for the first time in the whole trip, we are in shorts. <laughs>